Tim, we need something now. Yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Flips or Auto Auction Refills. That was actually funny. So one of the, one of the people when I was doing all the fluids on the Sonoma said you should rename your channel to Auto Auction Refills. <laughs> Some of the comments pissed me off, but I'll be honest with you, that one actually cracked me up pretty good. I was laughing about that. Um, so we are at my favorite place. Not no, not the porta potty. My my favorite place, uh, Copart here, twenty eight twenty nine Southeast Fifteenth Street here in Dell City, Oklahoma. And man, what do we got here? You know what's crazy? This is about eight months ago that this very car came out of those gates right back there, and it was parked in. Uh, well, not this very spot, but a spot very similar to this. It was sitting right out here waiting for the same tow company to drag it to the house as we are waiting on right now. That's right. We're waiting on a tow truck and you know, that's a big deal. If I'm having a car towed, that means it's serious. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a real deal if we got to wait for a tow truck. So tow truck is coming. Uh, and is that my truck? Is that, oh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Did I almost say truck? Did I say truck? Uh-oh, here we go. What did I buy, boys? <laughs> oh my God, there it goes. There it goes. Oh man. What did we buy, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness. There she is. We have ourselves a 1985 GMC, I think it's a GMC 1500, right? Or Silverado 1500? <laughs> you knew I was going to buy it, right? I mean, you guys had to know I was going to buy this. I mean, assuming you've seen the video yet, I may have to hold the, hold off on the video until, uh, until you've seen the walk around. Otherwise, it's not going to make any sense at all. I did. I, 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 I couldn't help it, man. Like I saw this truck and I had to have it. I, I can't really explain it any more than that. There's no rhyme or reason. It's look at this. It's still got the factory stereo up in there, man. I know the dash is destroyed. You know, the dash pad is no good. So the pad will have to be replaced, but that's not a big deal. The mechanical condition, completely unknown. We have no idea. I can tell you this, it ain't going to do anything. See, the battery is dead if it's even got a battery in it. Let's take a look under the hood. Crack the window so it won't be so hot for the tow truck driver. And another one. And another one. <laughs> I ran the Carfax on this the other day, and Carfax shows her as a, uh, as a one owner. Now, I can't tell you if that's true or not. Obviously, I don't know the history of the truck, but Carfax does show this as a one owner. And uh, for better or worse, she belongs to me. 4.3 liter, high horsepower, ridiculously high torque uh, V6 <laughs> with a, uh, I believe that was a four barrel carburetor, which I was a little shocked to see a four barrel carb on this V6. Um, fluids were good. Tranny fluid looked decent. Oil looked decent. Uh, coolant was a little bit on the rusty side, but not too bad. No leaks underneath it at all. And I think what I like most about this truck is that it's just in unmolested original condition. Right there. Original condition. You just don't, you don't, you don't hardly see trucks like this anymore. So if you're wondering if we're going to be going and putting new rims on and all that stuff, no, we won't. We don't even know if it runs. If it doesn't run, Yo, we're probably gonna have to source an engine for it. Now, one thing I will tell you, I'll probably change the exhaust. I like my truck to sound a little loud. Um, and if we gotta change a motor or something in it, no big deal. Let's just go find us a, a good 350 or a 400, drop it in there, and we'll have us, uh, you know, I would. I don't think I'd go back with the, the 4.36. I think we'd end up going with a, with a 350 at a minimum. Maybe, you know, 350 or 400. But first thing we gotta do is we gotta get it to the house so that we can put the booster pack on the battery and dump a little gas down the carburetor and see if it runs. Does it have a rod knock? I don't know. Does it have a dead lifter? Does it have a bent push rod? Bent, burnt valves? I don't know. Bad transmission? Your guess is as good as mine why it's here. But I'll tell you, this is my first purchase from Pedal. 
and I told you guys I've always been a little concerned about buying pedal cars uh, because uh, I've seen it's just been my experience that a lot of pedal cars look like things that should have just been sent to the scrapyard and I guess since I won this so cheap this one was probably on its way to the scrapyard I won the bid at two hundred and twenty five dollars that's not what I got it for they countered me at uh what they counter me at 425 and i declined i gave them another offer of 325 and they closed out the whole thing and relisted it back on copart for sale uh but this time it had a buy it now of 400 bucks so i just went ahead and bit the bullet bought it for 400 it was 660 out the door so right now this is 660 dollars. the tow is 65 bucks so you're looking at 725 dollars is what we have invested into this good at least body wise good condition 1985 gmc 1500 sierra it is a sierra right uh is it a sierra yeah sierra 1500 725 dollars let's get it to the house and let's see if we can get her to run all right we got the truck to the house this video is brought to you in part by the letter y for you mm-hmm -mm. Don't you love Yoohoo? I bet a lot of you remember Yoohoo and you miss it. You're going to have to buy yourself some now. All right. I don't think Yoohoo's going to start the truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the negative cable of the JNC Jump and Carry 1224. And again, thank you to Jump and Carry for sending this to us. This thing has been a lifesaver. It should jump start just about anything. Put that in the 12 volt connector there. And there is power. So I guess step one is does it crank? Oh, that sounds real bad. That sounds dry. That sounds like no compression is what that sounds like. Uh, I'm thinking that is either low, low to no compression or a broken timing chain. So we will, uh, we'll crank this little wing nut off here real quick yeah something definitely sounded very very off about that it was it was just cranking way too fast and it definitely sounded like there was no compression at all we'll pop the cap to the starting fluid tim if you'll push down on the uh on the linkage over here so i can spray a little fluid into it the linkage is somewhere over there push it all the way back just grab it and push it all the way back. There you go. All right, you can let it go. Just uh, as a little added precaution here, we'll put this back on it. You don't have to tighten the wing nut, just get it on there so that it doesn't launch it and grenade it. You gotta move quickly. There we go. I don't think this is gonna do anything at all. It sounds like we got engine trouble. It popped. It popped. <laughs> it popped. It's trying to start. This could be a timing issue. The fact that it's attempting to start like that tells me it's not a broken timing chain. I don't know. I'm gonna this down just a little bit further. I don't trust that thing. Feed a little more into it there. Let's come back and try it again. Well, that stuff has a smell, don't it? Fire, fire. <laughs> yeah, your uh, your intake is. Jeez. Yes, yes. Pull, pull the pin. Spray it. Spray it. Spray it. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. There you go. Not too much. <laughs> Got <in> my mouth. <laughs> It started though, didn't it? Yeah. 
for just a, a second. I swear it started. I wouldn't do that again. No, we're going to do it. He's got an air filter in <laughs> keep, keep the fire extinguisher on it. <laughs> She's trying to run, boys. She's trying to run. <laughs> I think I, <laughs> I think it needs some more shard fluids. Is what I think. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's take this back off. Well, that's hot. She's she's warm under there. Goodness. Yeah, we had a little bit of a of a fire down in there. Yeah, that could still be on fire. Nah, she's not on fire. Whew. Ugh. Well, I think the filter's going to ruin. <laughs> Spray a little more. Stop that. <laughs> what we sh really should be doing is filling the bowls with gasoline, fresh gasoline, instead of doing it this way. Tim, if you'll put that, uh, boy, yeah, that got warm. Shoo wee. If you'll put that wing nut back on there. One of these days your projects are gonna kill me. <laughs> well, don't worry, I'm not gonna try to start it till you're out the way. Let's try it again. Well, I think what we need, truthfully, is to stop screwing the starting fluid. Let's just go get the gasoline and let's do it that way. So we decided to forego the starting fluid. That stuff is just really, really bad. So we're going to take a squirt bottle and just squirt some gasoline down the carburetor. We do have the fire extinguisher on tap. We're going to put the... Uh, the air filter back in. In fact, you know what? We should probably take. No, I'm gonna leave the air filter in there because there is actually uh, there's st <laughs> still some fire extinguisher uh, stuff left behind. We're gonna tighten this down pretty tight here. All I need is to just hear the thing try to start. You know, like actually hear it fire up. I'm gonna keep the gasoline out of the way. We're gonna move this. Tim's on on point with the fire extinguisher, and we're going to uh, see if we can crank this again and get her to run. There she goes. Man, she's so close. So close. I think it burned up what little gas it had in there. Uh, we are so close to having this thing running, guys. All right, if we can't get it running this time, we're going to have to call it quits for a little while. I haven't eaten today. It's getting late. I've got other things to get done. I was just hoping we could get it, uh, get it running in one video. You know, God, that GM... That dang GM buzz, right? Come on, old girl. She runs. She runs. She runs. It ran. You need to get that chemical off your arm before it starts burning you. It ran. Holy crap. I can only imagine. It's it's this thing's had to have been sitting for years i mean years and she just fired up for us i am so excited that's good now i'm going to tell you right now it didn't run very well it didn't run very well all i could tell was definitely misfiring but at the same time you know it actually looks like it may have newer plug wires i would be willing to bet that if we were to take off the fuel line Assuming, and it's probably getting bad gas in there, which we probably shouldn't have left the gas line attached to it. 
Um, if the fuel pump is working, and the fuel pump is right, right down there, assuming the fuel pump is working, it's probably pumping gummed up gasoline in here, but I don't suspect the fuel pump is working at all. I'm sure it's probably completely gummed up. Take a look at this belt right here. I can't believe that after who knows how many years, the thing ran, it didn't have a knocking engine. You know, if we could get some fresh fuel, maybe get a fuel line and an inline filter and run it directly to the carb, detach the pump and plug that just in case the pump is running, go ahead and plug that, uh, plug that fuel line up. We might be able to get this thing to run on its own with just uh, the gas can that I've got in the house. So here's what we're gonna do. You guys are just gonna have to wait till the next video. Like I said, it's getting late, we haven't eaten it's hot i just wanted to see if we could even get this thing to fire up the fact is even with the the small fire that we had there we did get it running it did fire up it ran it wasn't knocking so i am truly excited for this vehicle uh 720 truck you know what do you expect from an old square body it's the body's in good condition the interior is in pretty good condition and it sounds like the motor may be healthy we just, uh, we're gonna have to work on the fuel system. That's probably the first thing we need to get into is getting the fuel system sorted. Try running it on an external tank first and see how she does. We'll come back to that in another video. Sorry to leave you guys hanging. That wasn't the intention, but the fact that we got it fired up, like it's been sitting for God knows how long. And we literally just brought it home through a booster pack and some gasoline in it and it fired up. Literally, fire. Get it? The fire? Remember that? Yeah. So this is exciting. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll come back. We'll see if we can get it running a little bit better. I appreciate all of you for making this video possible and allowing me to do what I do. Take these old cars that people forgot about and bring them back to life. So if you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like the content, give the video a big thumbs down. And hey, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I will catch you all very soon with the square body in the next one.